Michael, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Okay. I know. <laughs> they keep moving us around. I know. Well, Tess has rules. Good evening. Um, I will open up the April 4th, 2024 uh, meeting of the City of Santa Cruz Planning Commission. I had to check the date. Um, and uh, could we have a roll call, please? Commissioner Dan? Here. Gordon? Here. Kennedy? McKelvey? Here. Paul Hamas? Here. Thompson? Here. Chair Conway? Here. And we have uh, Commissioner Kennedy notified us that he would be absent. Do we have any statements of disqualification tonight? Seeing none, uh, we will move on to oral communication. This is the point in the agenda where the public is invited to address the commission on items that are not on tonight's agenda but are under the purview of the commission. We have any uh, oral communication? See none. Uh, we will move on to the agenda. We have uh, one consent public hearing on the agenda. It is for 901 Soquel Avenue. It's project number CP24003. It's a special use permit to allow a gym to occupy an existing commercial building. Um, there is no staff report tonight, but we will be holding a public hearing. So with that, I'll open the public hearing. Does anybody have, um, would anybody care to address the commission? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. <laughs> and um, would any commissioner care to pull the item and de deliberate on or ask questions on this item? No? With, I just had one. Uh, excuse me, if you, uh, if you do have questions, we will have to pull it from the consent agenda before we hold a vote, which is, which is perfectly fine to do. Um, so uh, with that, we will pull it from the consent agenda and go ahead and ask your question. I'm sorry to complicate it. I just was, uh, there was one bit of public commentary about uh, noise early in the morning and late at night. And I just wondered if, is it appropriate to ask questions of the applicant at this uh, point? No, you can, we can. You can ask, we, we, we can ask, but you should address the chair. Is there, is there any point in uh, talking about the, you know, the, the, we have the typical quiet hours for construction projects, et cetera, from, is it, is it eight until, seven till eight, or eight until eight in the evening or something like that? It's between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Okay. So is there any point in, in uh, asking if a, a condition can be added or modified to make it so that during the, the, hour, the operating hours that are outside of that window, they don't have the doors open onto Brants of 40? I know it's a loading dock back there, but do you, is there, if there's an intent to have doors open or anything to keep the gym cool or ventilated or anything, is there any... Uh, and there is a condition. We'll ask staff to. <coughs> Typically what we've been doing um, when we get these types of uses is including a condition of approval that if the city um, receives noise complaints and they turn out to be, you know, valid, then at that point we might ask for like a noise study to be done. And at that point we could also modify condi conditions of approval if needed. Um, so I think that's that's typically what we've done for um, other health clubs and gyms we've reviewed recently. Okay. Right, and and we also have a condition of approval. Um, it's six E here that um, all music shall be kept at volume level that is undetectable from outside of the building occupied by the gymnasium. Um, all exercise equipment and classes shall be kept inside as well. Um, if you. You, you know, if the commission wanted to add a new condition that the doors remain closed outside of those hours, that's certainly something that we could add. The, the idea that it's, you know, open to review later is fine, as far as I'm concerned, for complaints and things. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? Um, with that, I'll, I'll accept a motion. I move approval. Second. 
Okay, any discussion on that motion? Uh, could we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Dan? Yes. Gordon? Yes. McKelvey? Yes. Hamas? Yep. Thompson? Yes. Chair Conway? Yes. Uh, with that, um, the project is approved. Congratulations. Good luck with your project. So do we know if there will be um, a meeting in two weeks? Yeah, and we, yeah, we'll move on to the information items, and I bet you we'll get notified of that. Uh, yeah, so we have, yeah, there is a meeting scheduled for April 18th. Um, looks like the only item so far is uh, the outdoor dining ordinance. Um, and um, my only other update is that the cruise hotel was approved by the city council on March 26th, and we have sent all the information to the Coastal Commission, so um, yeah, that will start their appeal period for it, and so they'll let us know if they receive any appeals. Okay. Yes? Um, I, I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm sure you are aware, actually. Um, the OVO got appealed to the Coastal Commission, and I'm just curious if you have any information on that process, because what I read was the Coastal Commission has to decide whether the... Um, what's the word I'm looking Take for? jurisdiction. Yeah, whether the... Um, why am I blanking on this? It's about the appeal? The appeal, that's the word I'm looking for, whether the appeal has merit, and then if they decide it does, it goes to a second... Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they do one hearing, they take it to one hearing, decide if there's any um, substantial... Issue, issue. right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all can't think of our terms. Um, <laughs> and then if it if there is substantial issue, then they do they more analysis. And, and they agendize it, got it. Then it's okay. de novo, yeah. yeah. Okay, any other comments tonight? Nope. Um, we have no subcommittee or, or advisory oral reports and no items referred to future agendas. So with that, this meeting is adjourned. Wow. Shortest meeting? Did, we do? Did they break the record? You know, I, I think it might be. <laughs> <laughs>